Pardon me, and near the stage is uh, our own Tom Perry. Tom? Yeah, Michael, uh, they are continuing to read. This is the bell marking the collapse of tower number one. What do you go? The south tower fell at this moment. I mean, it was a terrible tragedy, and you can't forget that. But I think personally, it's important to note um, to note the day within myself, and to remind myself to each day is really precious, and um, to honor that. There, there are so many world events happening all the time that, to me, it's just it's just another it's just another event that's long past. The very day of September the 11th, I remember when I first heard about the crisis, I said I'm going to turn off the radio and just concentrate on doing useful things. It's going to be commemorated. Um, it's going to be used to empower the war against terrorism. I was in the States on a plane on, on that morning and uh, we were just about to board the plane when um, the first tower was hit and then, and then as the second tower was hit. That our plane was on the runway and they stopped it, turned it around and got us off and told us that America was under attack and the um, airports were being targeted, so they were evacuating the airport. But they're going to tool themselves up to do something nasty against Iraq. And I mean this event, which we should observe in a dignified sort of way by mourning and showing sympathy, is going to be turned into the politicians and the leaders and an excuse to get us to wage more stupid wars, which will get us into further trouble on and on down the line. I think it's kind of sad the way it's, the way it's being used to demonize uh, the, the people of Af Afghanistan and the Arab nations. The planning began for a military response. Within weeks, commands went forth from this place that would clear terrorist camps and caves and liberate a nation. And within one year, this great building has been made whole once again. September 11th is, is, has been used and abused um, by people in power in order to kind of, they've really melted the tragedy and they've really um, used it symbolically in order to empower their own agendas. This guy Osama who hated hated America so much, he actually was offended at the sight of American troops in Saudi Arabia and that's what incited him to do the horrible things he did. That's ultimately what happened, is that someone's belief system or a collection of people and their, their beliefs um, of what was important overrode the lives of tons of people. In the um, cab, I was sharing with a man who was trying to get hold of his daughter on his cell phone but couldn't get through because his daughter was working at the Pentagon and he was worried about her. Like the cab driver had the radio on the whole time. And then as we were driving, um, they, they announced that a plane had hit the Pentagon. And so, um, so I just held his hand and, and we just kept listening. I feel a lot of um, concern for the families who lost. But for Americans, you know, we're, we're no different, you know. Canadians are North Americans, are Africans, are, you know, we're all part of the same world. I don't think that any of us deserve any more pity or sympathy or than anybody else. I think the lesson is have compassion for your, for your fellow man. If there's anything to learn, it's that, you know, this way isn't working. And, you know, it's time for us to try something really radically different in the way that we're being in the world with one another because it's a small world now and uh, everything that happens you know millions of miles away affects us and it's time we saw that and see that we're all connected <laughs> we're not separate from one another
Good, how are you? Yeah, so what was it like in New York today? 